right from the start. I threatened Brandon in the alley and Jason stopped me. You have that on video. He brought me back to his place. I got mad and I left and I went back to Vaughn's. Michael, just stop no, talking. No, I knew right? Brandon would show up eventually. Right, so I waited for him. I already had a gun on me. And Abby was nowhere near the club. She had no idea what was going on. And then he showed up and I shot him in the head twice. Michael, stop lying. Hey, this is obviously a false confession. No, it sounds pretty credible to me. This is your last chance. A confession from you and Trump is any day of the week. I was going to shoot Brandon, so you took care of it for him. You protected him then? So protect him now by confessing. Let the kid spend the night with his girlfriend, not the late Buster Penton. Right, you can't just keep pushing until you get the confession you want. Listen, Michael, I did not kill Brandon. You don't have to protect me. I'm not going to let them lock you up. Diane's on her way. Just wait for her. No good, Diane. Okay, look, you don't get it. We have a solid eyewitness, okay? This guy was a regular at the club. He saw Abby shoot Brandon. That's how he recognized her. So how is a guy who goes to a strip club a solid witness? He's probably drunk or somebody paid him off. Abby, because of the abuse, the DA's probably going to want to cut a deal with you. Okay? She doesn't need a deal. She didn't do anything. Okay, just calm down. Let's go. No, no, you can go if you want. There's no way I'm leaving Abby alone. See Abby. I, I'd like to speak to her first, if that's if that's possible. Look, Jason, she didn't kill Brandon. You have to help her. But just just promise her that we'll get her out of here. I'm gonna do what I can. Okay. Look, last time I checked, neither one of you is an attorney. Okay, you have no right to go and talk to her. Look, How many rules am I supposed to bend tonight, Michael? I'm asking Michael? you, as my brother, just please. What? What? The brother who just punched me in the face? D Dante, please, just let let us see let us see Abby. Fine. You owe me. Right, you can come out here for a minute. Someone inspired to confess? Jason, you're not gonna let him go talk to you. Don't make me regret this, okay, please? Get Michael out of here before he gets into more trouble. The best way for you to help Michael to tell me the truth. Did you kill Brandon? Brandon got what he deserved, but I can't help you or Michael unless I know what really happened. I didn't kill Brandon, but I'll say I did to save Michael. I mean, there's enough evidence to support a confession from me, especially with the eyewitness. Yeah, and is there any idea what that's, that's about? <laughs> Somebody's obviously setting me up. I don't know why, but it better me than Michael. Why do you care so much? Because he's worth it. Michael didn't just save me from being raped. He gave me my life back. You know, I was so shut down and Michael changed that. I, I can't really okay. explain you it, you know? You don't have to, you don't have to. I will take my chances with the battered woman defense. Diane can probably sell it to a jury. Yeah, but you shouldn't have to go through a trial when you're innocent. I have a better chance of acquittal than Michael does. I believe that you would take the fall for Michael. But it would have the complete opposite effect. Michael needs you. The only way to make this right for him is for you to go free. I am so sorry. I dragged Michael into this. That Brandon Everett showed up again. You know, I'm, I'm actually, uh, I'm grateful. Yeah, Michael is afraid for you right now, but he, but he's handling this. He's strong, and that's because of you. I mean, you've helped him out a lot. Michael. I know. 
meant what I said before about you being great for my brother. brave to file charges against Brandon, and I know it must have been tough with that lawyer, Angela Dwyer, threatening to provoke him on the stand and getting Brandon out on bail. It was. I'm afraid for my brother. So am I. And we both probably do whatever it takes to keep him from going back to Pentonville, right? My brother's invested in you, Abby. That's one of the reasons why I want to help. What's happening between me and Michael is not one-sided. He saved my life, too. You're not going to talk to me, right? Oh, I just hope to God he didn't say anything to Jason and he's out there right now putting together a cover-up because that would be the worst thing you could do. You know, you could get out of this pretty easily with a, a plea bargain. Diane Miller's going to put together a deal that, that is better than most. The best thing for Michael is to resolve this as soon as possible. I hate Brandon. And I should have never dropped those charges. But I didn't kill him. And no amount of, of lattes or family small talk, are you acting like you actually give a damn, is going to make me say I did. Abby's spending the night in lockup. What? I thought she was cleared as a suspect. Yeah, Ronnie uh, came up with an eyewitness. A regular at Vaughn says he saw Abby shoot Brandon. Do we have a name? No. No. Okay, um, I can have Spinelli hack into the PCPD mainframe and see what we can find out. And if we can get a name, he can go into his bank account records and see if there's any sort of payoff. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds good. Thank you. Okay. Um, an eyewitness isn't always reliable anyway. No, he's a setup. He's obviously lying. Not necessarily. Maybe the eyewitness is telling the truth as he saw it. Hmm. You, you mean he saw a woman he thought was Abby shoot Brandon? Maybe the eyewitness was set up. Mm, that's possible. Why would anyone want to do that to Abby? Well, that's what we got to figure out. Who benefits from framing Abby? Yeah, I used to believe that things were black and white, right or wrong. And then uh, I found out Sonny was my father and Michael was my brother. I will always protect Michael, even though he doesn't always make it easy. But at the same time, I'm a cop, Abby, and I really have to find out what happened here. I didn't do it. Neither did Michael. I understand you don't trust this system, but if you killed Brandon, you had good reason. There was a pattern of violence you were fearing for your well, life. Come on, detective. I dropped the charges. Had no restraining order, didn't follow through with any of my prior attacks. You told me this all yourself. A good prosecutor can easily make it look like I set Brandon up. That would mean premeditated murder. I could spend the rest of my life in prison. I, I don't know what's really going on here. But if you care about Michael as much as you say you do, then you will stop harassing me and you will start trying to find out. <sighs> All right, let's assume that you're right. It was a setup. Let's assume that you and Michael and Jason had nothing to do with it. Who would want to make it look like you did? You have 